Hello friends, it's Christy. Welcome to Bitly Ditly House Plans. In today's video, we are setting up my budget for the month of September in my classic happy planner combined with the Budget by Paycheck workbook. So let's get started. Alrighty friends, so for this month, I have an older Fern Creek stickers kit. This is kit four, I believe, 4A. So I have here the main header. This is from Fern Creek Stickers, as I mentioned. It's actually sized for plum paper, but I know that this will fit within the Happy Planner here, and then I can just put the days of the week in, so I can kind of shift it where I need to. And I have the second sheet here with some scripts and the extra washi here in the sidebar. And then I bought this set of washi. It's from Kit 181 because I thought that it kind of coordinated well with this kit because I'm going to need some extra pieces of washi to set up my savings and sinking funds trackers. So that's what I have here kit wise. I also have some headers here from Orange Umbrella Co. Savings Tracker as well as sinking funds. And then this is my happy planner in the classic size. And so this is the September index. Keep going and growing. I love that because grow I think was my word of the year last year, I think. So I'm going to pull out the sheets that we need. So here's the index along with the two page monthly view. So we'll pull that out along with the blank page that I set up my savings and sinking funds tracker on. And then let's do the first paycheck bill tracker for the month. And we'll put the book aside because it's quite big. Okay, so let's start off by setting up this monthly view here. And we'll get the washi going. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna try to kind of center September. Over the middle here. And then we'll just trim the ends off. There and here. Okay, so there's that. And then let's just do the other side here. And I can't remember, I might have to use some of those leftover pieces because this might not be long enough, yeah. So I'm gonna put this here like this. And then just use this little bit here to fill in that little bit at the end. Perfect, that works. You don't even really see that, okay. So there's that, and then let me go ahead and I will fill in all of these sweet little pink date dots. Alrighty, so I have all the date dots down, and then let's go in and make sure we put all the days of the week down here. So I always leave my monthlies with a Sunday start. These little scripts are really cute. I love this font, okay. Wednesday here. Happy Planner's a little different because they put their sidebar on the left side instead of the right side. So that's why they don't necessarily line up exactly with these more standard kits that I use. Okay, so there's that. And then let me put down the paydays. I think there were some payday stickers in here. So paydays are the first and the 15th. There we go, so there's that. And then there are holidays here. Let's put these holidays down. Might as well just use them. I don't necessarily need them here in my budget book, but since they're here, let's do Patriot Day. And then what do we have here, Yom Kippur? And then Rosh Hashanah. We'll just add a little color to the, and then Autumn Begins. I didn't know there was a real Autumn Begins. <laughs> okay, so there's that. And Sukkot, I don't know what day those are, so we'll just leave that. Okay, so there's that. And then I pulled two highlighters, so 
we have this pink, which is 772. It's that dusty rosy pink I use all the time. And then 942 is kind of a beigey color. So let's go ahead and do, let's do the first payday in this beige color. So I'm just gonna highlight it so we know that that's that. And then I usually start with these scripts here from Saya Planning. And we have allowance and my auto loan. So those are always on the 1st and the 15th. I still give the girls an allowance because, well, Sophie's not working. She's a freshman, as you guys know. So she's not working this year. And then let's see, what else do I have? I have, Otis has a vet appointment. So let me pull those. These scripts are from Fern Creek Stickers. So he had appointment on the 1st. Then he has another one on the 8th. Okay, and then Netflix is the 13th. Where's my Netflix? I know I saw it, here we go. 13th is here. Okay, and then I also have a dinner date. I'm taking my niece, because I'll be in the town where she goes to college. I will be in the town where she goes to school on the 13th, so I'm just highlighting over these so I know these all come out of this paycheck. And then, like I said, dinner with Ellie. So I'm gonna put that down. And I use just a friction erasable. So there's that. And then Labor Day, we just get together with family for barbecue and that will just come out of my normal grocery money. So that's kind of the first part of the month. And then I am gonna go ahead, I'm gonna highlight in here because I do have some things sitting on my visa. So I have a balance on that. So I'm just gonna put that in there so that I'm paying that back off. And then let's go ahead and start with the second payday, which will be this pink color. And again, we'll go back and do my usual, so I have allowance and auto loan. I break up my auto loan so I don't have like a chunk of money coming out of one paycheck. It's kind of worked better for me that way. And then I'll do another visa payment. And then let's see, what else do I have? Oh, we have Disney Plus that comes out. Also on the 15th, I'm just gonna put it here on the 16th make room and then iTunes is at the end of the month on the 29th and do I have anything else oh my friend's daughter Harriet has a birthday so I will probably get her a little gift I think she's turning two I don't know like I said I'm gonna put another mark there for visa iTunes and Harriet's birthday I bet you they do something around here so I'm just gonna put it here Visa and then Harriet. Okay, so that's the majority of what I know for the bills that I take care of. And then I know we've been having school expenses, so I've been putting money into the savings, into my sinking funds for that, and we just pull out of that when we need it. Because the girls have started buying some of their books. A lot of it is um, like online stuff, so it's not as expensive as buying like hardbound textbooks. So that's kind of what the month looks like, dividing my two paychecks up. So then now I'm gonna flip over here to the back side of this page. And here I usually just kind of put some goals here that I want to take care of in terms of like, where do I wanna put my unspent cash? Let's see, I don't have a lot of little like doodads or anything here. So, and then looking ahead, I normally do things like what's gonna be happening in the next month coming up. So let's see, what do the, these scripts say? This, why don't we use this month here? I'm gonna use this. And I'm just gonna put it right here to cover up that tasks. And then I'm gonna put apply unspent cash. I 
I definitely need to build back Otis's envelope, the Christmas one, and then the personal. So there's that. And then you know what, let's do, I'm gonna make these little gray boxes. I'm gonna color them kind of pink with my brush end of my Tombow. There, that's cute. Okay, and then looking ahead, I have, so looking ahead to October, I have travel, we have Halloween, so that's like a big candy purchase. Oh, I kind of want to send the girls some little goodies too, so they can get something in the mail. So let me pull my little stencil. I'm going to pull this just because I know I'm not going to be able to do boxes very well without some kind of guide. So why don't I do these in pink as well? So I'm going to do this. So I, what did I say? I had Halloween. I do have some work travel and then maybe some care packages for the girls. So let's do that. Let's do, I'll put the care packages first. Care packages. M and Soph. And then we've got Halloween, the end of the month. I'm gonna put Halloween goodies because I do little goodie bags usually for my two god babies. And then I do have work travel. That is covered, like all of my expenses are reimbursed, but still there might be other things that I find when I'm down south in Southern California that I might like wanna splurge on for myself or whatever. So I'll put that there like that. Okay, so that's that. And now let's move on to creating my sinking funds tracker. Okay, so I used this blank page and this was just a package of blank paper that I bought. It was already punched and so I bought it from Amazon. So I thought I would use this to create my tracker. So let's see what I have here. I'm just gonna put some of this washi down here on the top. Cover these boxes up here. Okay, and then I do savings tracker first. So we'll just use these headers. These come in handy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop this down a little bit so that the washi shows up above it. Okay, so there's that. And then let's see. I think what I'm gonna do, I need to draw some lines in friends. I'm kinda like, I don't have like a little guideline. Let me draw some lines in. So I have that, and then I'm just gonna put a piece of this washi down here on the bottom. Okay, so here I'm gonna put, I'm just gonna say account because I have my emergency fund, I have my 401k, and then I have, I've been just calling it stock, and then this is stock number one, and then I have stock number two. Okay, so then this is the beginning balance. Did I spell that right? Yeah, and then any additions, subtractions, and then ending balance. There we go, that works. Okay, cool. And then let's go ahead and we'll do my savings tracker on this side. I'm just gonna use up the other piece of this. And do the same thing on this side. Okay, ever since I converted those Roth IRAs I had into stock, they're really growing, which is super exciting. <laughs> and then let's do savings. Oops, no, sorry, not savings, sinking funds. I already did the savings, let me put this back. 
sinking funds. There we go. Again, just kind of dropping it there. And then, oh, why don't I use, I could use the leftover on this one. I think I'm gonna use this one here in the middle. I gave myself enough lines. I don't know if I have enough lines. I'm going to move this down one more just to give me a little bit more space just in case. I'll move it down a couple more. Okay, and then let me go ahead and draw some lines. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing where I have the account, and then beginning, addition, subtractions, and ending. Okay, and then for my sinking funds, I have Auto maintenance, registration, and then school expenses. Christmas, Amazon, which I think is due in November. Canva, and then I keep holding out that I'm going to get to a planner conference eventually, so I want to keep that as a fun vacation. I think I mentioned in my last budget that we're talking about doing a big family vacation with my brother's families to Hawaii and then household. There's a couple things I want to start doing and organizing my household, so there's that. And then I'm going to take one of these stickers here, and I'm going to use this one. I'm gonna put cash envelopes. So these are my cash envelopes over here. And they are Christmas. I have both cash and in the bank just because you have to do online. If I do online shopping, I need it in the bank account. And then Otis and personal. And then let's just end it with one of these really dark ones. I'm gonna put this down here. I'm gonna cover these. Oops, a little extra came off. Let's just put this down here. I'm gonna cover those lines because I don't end it. I didn't need it to go that far down. So we'll just cover those. There we go. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that dark on the bottom there. I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit. Perfect. Okay, so that's my sinking funds. Okay, so let's do this first tracker here, this paycheck bill tracker, and I'm gonna bring back the monthly here. And this is for the paycheck from 9-1. And I have payroll as my income. And then for my bills, I have, starting with allowance, and then my auto loan, like those, the auto loan goes out automatically. And then I have gas, which goes throughout the whole month. And then, or the whole pay period. I know I've got some school expenses coming up. And we've got some Otis appointments. So I'm just gonna put Otis here. And then I always like to leave some in here for food and fun again, just because we're doing things online. So we need that and then miscellaneous. And then I also am doing that, paying back the visa, paying that down and then Netflix. And then I think that's it friends. So we'll leave that. And then my cash envelopes are always 
food. That's where the majority of my grocery shopping comes out of. Fun. And then miscellaneous. And then I also stock Otis's envelope in my personal one with cash. And then over here, I have a direct deposit into my emergency fund. And then, like I said, I want to start building up Christmas because it's almost here and I am doing some Christmas shopping now. The auto because registration will come due after the turn of the year and then school expenses. Just because I know this month is when the girls will start finding out what books and things that they need for school. So that's it. I'll work the numbers offline. Let me go ahead and put all of this back in the book. Okay, friends. So back to the pretty index page for September. We've got the monthly view with my two paychecks noted here in the beige and the pink color. And then I have some things that I want to take care of in terms of unspent cash for this month and then looking ahead to October. I have my savings tracker with my retirement accounts and then I have my sinking funds with just some cash accounts as well. And then the first paycheck bill tracker just kind of started to lay that out for the first paycheck of the month. All right, friends, I think that's it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe so you can catch future content on my channel. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.